Okay, so this is a piece of plywood um, that I had my husband cut. It's a 24 by 32. Um, I buy it in big sheets at Lowe's. And here I'm just sanding the edges where they're just a little rough from where my um, husband cut them. I'm using DIY paint and B board. And I'm just going to give it one, maybe one and a half coats of paint. I also painted the sides of this piece because I'm making a wall hanging using, uh, I'll be using two different transfers. So um, I, I just did that off camera. Okay, so once your piece is dry, you'll want to put some type of sealer on top of it before you put the transfer on. It's not absolutely necessary, but it does help the transfer to release a lot easier. So here I'm using DIY liquid patina. It's just a uh, clear um, patina. It can be used as a top coat. It can be used uh, like a decoupage. So any type of sealer here would work. You could also use um, I also use DIY's Big Top, which is a clear polycrylic. So any type polycrylic would also work. Mod Podge would probably work. Um, but it just, it does make it easier. So now that my patina has uh, fully dried, I'm going to start with my first transfer, and it is called Le Petite Rosier, and it is a beautiful um, description of roses in a French script. And it also has grid lines on it to help me, which I'm going to use in order to get it uh, lined up straight on my board. So when I have a big transfer sheet like this, I like to kind of roll it out um, a little at a time until I get it uh, stuck in a good spot. So once I have it where I want it, I'll just kind of smooth it down and then I'll just use the little rubbing stick that's included with all the transfers and just start rubbing the transfer on. Now I do apply a good bit of pressure when doing this so it just especially with the the transfers that have all the words uh, sometimes they can be a little bit more difficult just because they're so so many small pieces to it. It also takes a good bit of time to to get this all transferred on so I'm gonna um, just speed it up a little bit and do it and show it to you guys in stages. So once I get, um, you know, a good bit transferred on, I will cut that part off just so I won't have so much of the sheet um, to work with.
Okay, so now the hard part is over. We have the transfer completely on, and now I'm just going to burnish it, which is just kind of making sure all the pieces are laying down, and you want to be really gentle, again, with the letters, words, because they are just so tiny and, and kind of fragile, so you don't want to rub too hard because you might just, um, you know, rub a little piece off. So just do this gently, and then we will be ready to layer on our next transfer. So this transfer comes with eight sheets, like you see here. It has roses and sunflowers and lavender and the leaves and the stems. It just has a whole bunch, and it's in a pad form like this. So you can just look through the pad, look at each sheet, and cut out the pieces that you need. So I like to start out by cutting out just different parts uh, that I think I might want to use, and then I'll just kind of lay them out along my project just to see where, uh, where I might want them. So once you uh, kind of lay out your pieces, uh, you will again take your little stick that comes with the transfers and peel the backing off and then just place it where you want it to go. So here I'm just using one of the rosebuds because I wanted something kind of long down the side and a little something to fill up that white space right there. So because I cut this out, uh, I don't have a lot of room to you know use the little tool and scrape it so uh, you got to be really careful and you know kind of rub it you know firmly but not real quickly because you don't want to skip over the piece and then um and hit one of those words because you make it just scrape it right off Now, if you ever start to lift up your uh, sheet and notice that it hasn't all transferred onto your project, just lay that back down and then uh, firmly rub right back over in that spot. So when you are lifting up your sheet, just kind of do it, um, don't just take it off quickly because then you would have to line it all back up in order to get whatever was missed back on there. So before I uh, laid this rosebud down, I had cut off a little leaf that was part of it. Um, and so with any of the transfers, you can just cut off uh, little pieces and add them here and there. And um, it, they just all work really well together. So now I am working on just the top portion of it on the top left. And I knew I wanted some leaves and some roses uh, kind of coming down. So I'm just laying out some small pieces here because I don't have a whole lot of room here, but I'm just going to add, um, just going to layer actually a couple of roses over some leaves. So next, I wanted to use one of the larger roses, um, and so I'm just going to layer it on top of some leaves. So right here, I almost forgot I was about to stick that down, but I, I remembered I wanted to put the leaves down first. So I was just trying to make sure I got the leaves where I wanted them before I stuck my rose on there.
So I had this little rosebud that I wanted to add somewhere up at the top. So I was just trying to fit it in somewhere. So at some point you just you just got to stop and kind of look at your project and see if what you have is enough or if if you can use some more in a few of the places that are left. Um, and so I, I thought it could use a little bit more, so I did add a few more things. So I thought the top right uh, corner could use a little something else. And so I love this uh, large rosebud. And so I'm just cutting it out and I'm going to place it just coming down from the top, top right. So I finally think I have it like I like it. And so now I'm going to use the uh, liquid patina once again um, and seal all the transfer pieces down. Again, you can use any type of top coat that you would like, a Mod Podge, liquid patina, uh, any type of clear polycrylic. So I just love how this piece turned out. If you would like any of the transfers um, for yourself, I have them on my website at www.weatheredwings.com. Uh, the transfers are Iron Orchid Designs products, and then I also carry the DIY products as well.